Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Psychompon. I'm your host, James Psychompon. In this episode, I want to be talking about the Wizards around one against the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. And I want to talk about what we can redo in the offseason to improve the team. All right. So round one, we're out, right? We lost four to one. And I was, I'm not, yeah, it sucks losing, but am I really shocked that it happened that way? No, I'm not. Like, cause in the last episode, I said we're going to get swept 4-0 and lose that night, but we managed to pull off a victory. And this, and you know, we, I, we scored 129 points against us in that game. Uh, the game we lost. Game five, and it's just we just don't play good defense. I there's there's something going on. It, maybe it's just that what the NBA is, NBA is now. You can see teams scoring even more than recent years. It has been like steadily increasing due to rule changes and just pace and space. But our team's just not good enough. It's like there's no way you can try to sugarcoat this. The Sixers are just a better team and better coaching. Hmm. But what can we do to improve it? Um, let's see. Looking at the roster, we have some free agents that we have some players that were hit free agency this offseason. Um, to name them. I'm gonna pull up right now. I right, saw so the list, Isaac Bonga, and then we Robin Lopez, Garrison Matthews, Alex Len, Raul Neto, Ish Smith, and Cassius Winston. I know on that list, I want to keep Ish Smith. He is good off the bench. He made some, created some offense for us. Cause outside of Beal and Russ, I don't know who can. Like I said, I, I don't have, I don't get a chance to watch much of the games. I have to catch what I can on YouTube and sometimes they show the games out here in Japan on TV where I can watch it. And I just, and I look at the box scores and watch highlights. Ed Smith, I think we should keep him. Cassius Winston, I want to see him improve, but I don't know if there's a space for him on the team. Everybody else, I think they, I think we'll be fine. Let it go. Um, with the addition of Daniel Gafford, he's been great for us. There was, I read somewhere that said that he plays like a first rounder. And I think we got him for a good deal with the Bulls. I, I don't remember the trade exactly, but as when we got him at that trade deadline, you can see our win loss ratio, it was unbelievable. And he's, he's efficient, efficient off the bench. And he's a great, I think he's a great on the court with Russ. It works out. But, so what can we do? I think Davis Bertans, he was excellent last season. Sniper, 6'10. This season, he had, he, he doesn't, he didn't have the same, same, it just didn't look the same as it did the season before. I don't know if teams figured him out or, you know, just got paid and Scoochie now or what's up, but. I think we should move on for him. Trade him away. Cause he's still, I think he's a tradable piece. You know, he's serviceable still, but for us, I don't know what's going on. I think it's because we had little expectations this season when he was going off. And that season, we we're just, you know, running up the score, just one point, defense didn't matter. And this season, where we do have a competing team, probably just threw his flow off. 
but I think he's a piece that has to go. Uh, and we got to just gotta find some other spark plug off the bench. Like Ish Smith, we can keep him. He's good. But ooh, Neto, he has some good games, but I don't mind if he walks because uh, you keep Ish Smith like what six one guard, Russ six three, Bo six three. So there's three guards right there. That'd be six three. Rowan Neto, he's six. I want to say he's around six two. We don't have any. He's a point guard. I don't. We don't need him. We just need. We need some more defensive players, a little bit more size in the guard positions, and just both just just develop. I think I think like we need, we need to get some better development team. I, it's time for Fire Scott Brooks. Like we need some something else. We gotta check out the team, you know. Like there's three, there's two open spots, head coaching spots in the NBA right now: Boston Celtics and Portland Trail Blazers. Wait, wait. Notice three: Celtics, Trail Blazers, and Orlando Magic. The Wizards can make it a fourth. I th- and. It's just time to make a coaching change. We kind of something going because we have the young talent. We're selling vets and prime players, All right? Like off my head, I can Russ, Bradley Beal, Rui Hachimura, Daniel Gafford, and Danny Abdia. I wouldn't mind seeing that as a starting lineup, like. So it's just something we gotta do something because this team is good. I think. I mean, okay, we're not we're not as good as, as we can be, but that five, those five players alone, I think that is a storyline that can do some damage. All right. Now let's let's go back to the last game that we had in the playoffs. So, Russ almost had a triple double, 24 points, 8 rebounds, 10 assists. Good. And the top performer on the Sixers, Tobias Harris, 28 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Man, that's pretty good, huh? I don't. What's his efficiency at? 917 in the field. 10 free throw attempts. And Ben Simmons. 10 re, let's see, 19 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists. Alright, Steph, no, Seth Curry out there, 30 points. 2 assists. 7 from the free throw line. Yeah, man, we just gotta play some defense. And I'm tired of like just trying to shoot up threes where we gotta get some defense going, run some plays. Beal is, Beal is wonderful offensively. And I think we just gonna continue developing Hachimura. I, from our last episode, I was I'm talking about he and I don't think he was getting enough attempts. Just looking at the, the scoreboard. And in that game where we did win, he had, he, he had, Average for like eight attempts a game to twelve attempts, and in this game he out he shot thirteen from the field and scored twenty one points. So I think he I think he's efficient. Just you know, let him progress more, let him get the ball more, and shoot more. And Gafford three out of four from the field, seven rebounds, two steals, two blocks. He I wouldn't mind seeing him next year starting. I think Gafford can start. Just get, got a backup somehow. I don't, Robin Lopez, he had his games, but he's just a backup. Alex Len, you know, backup. Like, if we're going to keep one, I'd rather keep Robin Lopez, but I'd rather just, just, you know, try to clean this roster up, get rid of them, and just keep H. Smith. I, I, H. Smith is the only person I would keep from that bench. And just wait till Danny gets healthy and start him. And we got to develop our players. The Wizards, we are good at paying our players. 
That's how we pay our porter. That's how we pay Darius Bertans. We are good at taking care of our players, taking care of our own. And they gradually develop. Because Alan Porter did develop. You know, nothing nothing wrong with him. But he developed into something. He was a high, like top, top four round, top four pick in the draft. He then looked as he lived up to his expectations that some hoped for, but then he developed into a great three point shooter, third, third option on our team, and he got paid. But it didn't work out, so shipped him off. So we great playing our players and developing slowly, and you know we're just hitting at some points, but to make them surpass the limit and be like one of the league's best, I, I don't, I think we can get better at developing our players. Cause, yeah, because Beal is just awesome. And Russ brings it to Russ. He, bring, he brought a different culture to our team. We have to keep him no matter what anyone says. I think you can win with Russ. It's, just, it's I think you can win with Russ. It's, I know I watched some of the playoff games and he just shot some, just jacked up some threes, but I think you can win with him. It's, and Beal was like a perfect scoring option next to him. I don't want to stay with him yet. I, you know, we just got to keep him and try to see if we can work with him. And perhaps he had a different coach. I mean, Scott Brooks been there for a long time, man. You see how, you know, we had, we had some good seasons, but it's I guess I'm letting go because we just want to keep near the way the NBA is. I don't know how long Beal is going to stay, and Beal he looks he seems like he's going to stay and win here. And we got a good good young team, and you know we just want to keep them happy, like Hachimura, Abdia, and Gaffer. All right, that's what some of my thoughts from that first round exit and what we can do in the off season get some new new staff like head coaching and development team and just shake up a roster we have, we're, we're pretty tied up in Russ and Beal and the young three players that we should keep Hachimura at the end Gafford that's a starting out right there we should go we should roll with that you know expectations won't be high we're going to play for a new coach because people in a starting spot. I think we're good. I don't know what draft pick we have, but probably some right in the mid, uh, in the lottery, like around the pick 15. So I think we can have a good draft pick and probably throw, if you want to get a higher, you're going to try to shoot for it, trade that draft pick and throw in Bertans or something and try to get a higher pick. I think I'm cool with that. You know, get rid of his contract, get a higher pick and see what happens. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, subscribe, share this, and see y'all next week.